Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with some more F1 Manager 2022. It is time to head into the Jeddah Corniche Circuit, Saudi Arabia. Uh, yeah, none of our drivers have any development points. Jack A can neither. Uh, so we're looking good right now. Had a struggle around Bahrain, our first race of the season. It was a bit of a, a setback. We saw a lot of positives, though, with Albon making quite a ways up the field. So hopefully we can keep pushing the car it looks like we got suspension manufactured okay we got one let's head into saudi arabia see how well we can perform here in the next one hope you guys are enjoying the video if you are there are a couple things you can do to support the channel first off press that like button and subscribe make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for your support hope you enjoyed the rest of the video all right nothing noteworthy happens so we're gonna jump into it we are unsure if we're gonna reach q2 or q3 so we're gonna keep that unticked finishing position a 15th i think we can do we think we did hit that last time uh 15th and above i think we can hit with albon especially i think latifi needs some help but let's head on in then and see what we can do in Jeddah. oh wow okay so aiken has an optimal setup already and this is only fp1 hold on so latifi said it was great uh so it's a decent position to be in let me just make some adjustments here all right aiken's in and it's already a hundred percent my gosh i mean i pretty much how i did this i literally took leclerc or was a gasly setup from uh jetta and essentially put it in and there we go uh from the alpine series helping us out here as well this is a great showing from us optimal splendid oh there's been a crash there's been a crash another exciting event happening here uh, I don't think it's any of us. Aiken is fine. Latifi is fine. Yellow ahead. Yellow ahead. Vettel crashed into turn four. Is that the hairpin? Oh no, it's actually the tight left-hander. Clips the wall there and rear... Oh, just crashes into the other side. Unfortunate for Vettel. Not a good sign, guys, but we're at the back. But I'm still confident that Albon can do well today because he does have 100% setup thanks to Aiken. And we need to see how good Latifi can get his setup too. So let's head on into FP2. Oh, Latifi locked up, but it doesn't seem like it's a severe issue. Did not crash at all. So he's good. Just running wide a little. No big deal. All right. I'm happy as long as you stay out of the walls and don't cause more financial damage. Ooh, there's been a crash. FP2, there's been a crash. Yellow flags. Competitor crash. Albon's okay. Latifi's okay. Leclerc has crashed, though. What up to him? Ah, it's the hairpin lock up and it's straight into the walls, isn't it? Yep. The usual. Nice. Happens. Yet again, Latifi locks up. That's strange. He keeps locking up this guy. Gotta be careful with the setup then. End of session two, and we're still at the back of the grid, but a lot closer now. Just about 90 thousandths behind Sebastian Vettel for Albon. So let's see if we can improve on it in the final round. Yes, there we go. Let's see if the setup is in fact a 100% setup or if it's a high 97 plus setup. I would like it to be a 100% setup. Let's take a look. 100%. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. This is the optimal setup for Latifi. This is going to be a good weekend, guys. Yes, now. Splendid work. We're still at the back of the grid on the mediums. Uh, Albon and Latifi both have 100% setup confidence. So we're heading into qualifying with a great knowledge of not only the track, but the car and the setup. So let's see what we can do in Q1. All right. So Albon crosses the line first to set the fastest lap of the session. So far, 132.2. Of course, no one else has run a lap. So... That is why we're so fast. Five tenths behind is Latifi. There is no rain predicted at all, of course. This is a Middle East. It never rains here or barely rains here. So let's see out the time for the final run. Essentially, everyone's doing a one last lap before the checkered flag falls. Vettel and Stroll are finished, but we're coming through. Albon, does he improve ahead of Vettel? Yes, he does. P17 is the looks of it. Latifi, I don't think will improve on his time. Oh, so close though. Ten thousandths of a second behind Lance Stroll. That is very tight indeed. But we're both out in Q1. It's a shame, but 
it is what it is. The car isn't great right now. So hopefully the upgrades that we're expecting soon come in time for the next Grand Prix or the Grand Prix in two weekends time. Uh, but yeah, this is looking like a decent Williams sandwich. The Williams are uh, holding the Aston Martin cars in between and Schumacher is ahead in P16. But it's race day. Let's see what happens from P17 and P20. The grid is packed and there's electricity in the air. But there's no surprises in that. It's race day. Williams had a good performance in qualifying. Now they'll be eager to demonstrate that they can have an even better race. Alfa Romeo managed to meet expectations during qualifying. And if they can keep this up, they'll have a good race ahead of them. And the weather is sunny here today, apart from a few clouds. Let's hope they remain scattered on the horizon. Well, this is certainly going to be a challenging, but no doubt exciting race here in Jeddah. All right, the strategy is going to be absolutely crucial for us today. So let's take a look. No rain expected. All right, I think we're going to go for a simple strategy. One stop, hard to mediums. These are the best and fastest strategy we can come up with. So I think Latifi will pit one lap earlier in lap 29 and then bring Albu in later. But it also all depends on the conditions on track. So we'll see what happens. Lights out and here we go for the race itself. A partly clear night here. The drivers now lined up on the grid. Here we have Alexander Albon. With their starting position in the back 10, they'll have their work cut out for them. Next up for the team, it's Latifi. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. The teams are ready to go. And here we go. It's time to race. Let's go. Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Hopefully we can get a decent result. Maybe upper bottom 10. That's the aim. Lights out and away we go. Gonna push at the early doors here. Albon already shuffling about trying to find a way past some of these cars. But he does fall a position behind Vettel I believe indeed. Actually we're gonna lose both spots with Albon. Wow Albon having a horrible start on the hards. But it's not over yet, as KSI famously said. Come on, boys. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay close. The Williams cars might take each other out here if they're not careful. Thankfully, they are. Oh, boy. Already Latifi falling back. Gap forming between Albon and teammate Latifi. Hopefully Latifi can catch up a bit, would be nice. And yeah, I think we're stuck here for the most part for now. Got to keep the fuel on high, so hopefully we can push on the cars ahead. Overfuel the car a little bit just to do that. Hmm. I don't know what else I can do here. I have to pray for safety cars. I have to pray for crashes to get us some comp positions as well. I think the Aston Martins are going to be pretty basic to get past, simple cars to get past. There are competition at this time. Would be nice if we got past them relatively soon. It's the mediums and softs for them right now. So hopefully we can stay in touch. Oh, there is a move by Albon here. Hold on. Going up the inside of Stroll. Ooh, overtake failed though. That is not good at all. We'll keep at it then. Keep at it. Okay, Sonoda locked up. Sonoda locked up and sent his car to the back here. It's the same spot as with every single race weekend around here. Same lockup spot. All right, we got some people in the pits here. Ricardo, Mick Schumacher, Vettel, all in the pits, moving away from their soft tires, I believe. So let's look at tire history. Indeed, we got soft tire runners now pinning for mediums, is it? Let's take a look closely at their tires. Hards, actually. Soft, hard strategy, and then ending on the mediums, I believe. They still need to do one more pit. Uh, so this is going to get exciting for sure. All right, so I think it is time to pit Leclerc, or Leclerc, Latifi right now. He's going to come in a lap early. We are going to tell uh, Albon to push right now and then pit in the next lap, which is best to tell him to pit now. So let's see how Latifi gets along here. 
He's gonna come into the pits. We might get lapped by... Oh, we already got lapped. That's sad. That's how bad we are, though. That's the state of the care right now. Let's see. Can we get a good stop in? Soft to mediums. 2.9. Almost 3 seconds. Not the best. Dead last, though. So that's a shame. We'll see how Albon gets along. Here we go, then. Albon's in. Let's see. I'm telling Latifi to push a little just to close the gap. Let's see if Albon can get a good pit stop. I did leave pit crew um, activity team balanced, so... We may have to concentrate on one aspect or the other. We're so slow, 2.8 seconds. But I guess that's the best I can get out of this pit crew right now. Um, let's see, head of Latifi by a mile. So, Albon, keep going, buddy. Alright, so it's a battle between Vettel and Albon. Vettel on a much fresher set but i'm gonna tell albon to attack mainly because we did get lapped meaning lap 49 is gonna be the last one we're almost at the end of this lap meaning we got one final lap to go latifi is way too far behind stroll so there's not much i can do with him all i have to tell him is to bring it home um but albon i'm hoping he can push on vettel and hopefully get him soon come on use everything you've got try to get p17 would be nice we're going to lose out on a guarantee, but hopefully we can at least be ahead of the Aston Martins and finish within the same positions that we were in at the start of the race. Okay, I'm going to drop his tire usage to medium again. Oh, never mind. He might get overtaken again. going to go aggressive, actually. Oh, why did you let him through? You just let him through, mate. You should have just went full gas straight through there. Why'd you lift off? Alright, come on. We're almost there. I just realized this is not our lap. This is the uh, like race leader's lap right now. So we don't want to be too early on our push. So what we're going to do is stay relatively level over here. Try and stay, you know. As close as we can to Vettel and then push on the final moment. Come on. You can do it, Albono. Come on. Let's get him, let's get him, let's get him. We're looking good. We're catching up. We're catching up with some DRS here. Oh, close. Sector 2, yellow flag. Big crash. Is it Latifi? No, it's not. Albon is okay. There is a crash though, meaning we may get some positions here. Perez crashed. What is that? Hairpin turn failure? Yep. Is he out or is he just... Ah, uh, he's gonna go back into the pits. Yep. So no, no positions gained right now, but... Hopefully, a decent respectable finish though. Come on, one more lap to go after this one. We want to try and stay as close as we can to Vettel. Okay. Let's try to push now. Close the gap, buddy. Close the gap. All we've got. Come on, we want to stay within DRS, man. Stay within DRS. Stay. Oh, that's close. I think we got DRS though. We did get DRS. Yep, we got some DRS. Gonna try and push on the uh, Vettel here. Come on. Ooh, tried the move. Nope, still too far away. Come on, we gotta set something up for the final DRS straight. We're wasting these tires. Come on, come on, come on. We're so close. Okay, all Latifi's done, I think. He, he, Oh, well, he just needs to cross the line here. So I'm just going to go balanced with him. No need to push. No need to put a strain on the car. Meanwhile, I need to push with Albono. Come on, I got to match this nicely to a perfect spot. Let's deploy now. Give it everything, buddy. Come on. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. 
Can we dive it in the last corner? Come on. Oh boy, come on. Yee oh, oh, come on. You had momentum. Make that move. Come on, man. Shame. Come on. Chase him down, man. Ah, oh, that's close. Right on the line. Unlucky, mate. P7, uh, P18 by literally one tenth of a second. Well, Latifi's gonna slowly inch his way home, I guess. But that is it. Our car is so bad. We really need some upgrades. At least we beat Lance Stroll with Albon. Um, those upgrades need to come quick. Oh, uh, this is a shame. Well, that's all. Okay performance for Alex Albon today. This was a mixed performance from Williams today. Some excellent decisions and then some strategies that will need a bit of work. There will definitely be some lessons to learn for them, but this was solid work. With the race wrapped up, the team is ranked in ninth in the constructor standings. And for the next round, Formula One is heading down under. Exciting times ahead in Australia on the shores of the Albert Park Lake. Heading to Australia next time, but yeah, down here at the bottom. That is quite sad, to be honest. Leclerc, Verstappen, and Sainz on the podium. Perez, Hamilton, Russell, Bottas, Alonso, Ocon, and Gasly in the points. Magnussen, Norris, uh, Zhu. Ricardo, Schumacher, Sonoda, Vettel, Albon, Stroll, and Latifi round out the finishers. No safety car, no red flags this time. Unlucky indeed. Yep, Albon is dropping back as he fails to secure a decent finishing position. Latifi also ahead of Lance Stroll, though. Quite impressive from our GOAT himself. Williams still in P9 as we are still performing better than Aston Martin, which is nice to see. McLaren also on zero points, but Haas doing well to score four points today and making it up or four points so far this season, making up to P7 at this time, but getting overtaken by Alfa Romeo and Alpine who have good weekends as well. Yeah, I really need to find a way to get these current to perform better. Um, we did get optimal setups, but optimal setups mean nothing in this kind of car, so it's a shame. Uh, we had incoming 3.8, outgoing uh, 309,000 because of failure to get the guarantee, so 3.5 mil profit. I'll take it.